Yes, peace and blessings, fam. So, yes, today I am going to show you how I sew in crochets on my client with severe alopecia. Yes, I said sew in crochets. So, let's jump right into this video. Peace and blessings, fam. Welcome to West Coast Finest Hair and Dance. Yes, I upload new videos every single week. So, subscribe. And yes, it's me your girl t dropping another video click the link to my facebook page below and yes don't forget to get your g and g grandmother and granddaughters yes our prices are very affordable our small jars are only what ten dollars and our large jars are only what twenty dollars so yes if you want your hair to grow get your order in today Okay, family, so as you can see, my client here has some severe alopecia, but no worries, ladies, because I can help. You can wear many beautiful styles, even with hair loss, even with alopecia. Look at these beautiful crochet straight locks. Yes, they are absolutely gorgeous. The color is 1B mixed with a 30. And yes, my client has some severe hair loss in the front and at the top. But again, no worries, ladies, because I can help. You do not have to suffer in silence anymore. Although she has some severe hair loss in the front and at the top, I am going to fix that problem for her. She will not be stuck with wearing wigs, scarves, hats, and doing things to just cover her hair so that she don't feel ashamed and that she don't feel embarrassed. I am going to what hook her up so I am starting the braid pattern I am going to do two braids going around the perimeter of her head and this is to give her a hairline in the front as she does not have a hairline because of her hair loss I am also in the middle going to braid these braids going back because this is going to be the most best braid pattern for this particular style that she's going to get please watch how i fill in the areas where she doesn't have any hair where she has a severe hair loss the braids that i braided around in a circle i'm taking those ends of those braids and i'm using those to create a braid down the middle where she has hair loss so please take note i did speed it up for the purposes of not having such a long video but you can see the actions that I'm taking again that is the end of one of the braids that was braided around in the circle and I took the end of that braid and created a new braid to cover the areas where she has hair loss yes this is an amazing technique and tip to use for clients who have hair loss so I am going to show you those perimeter braids. That was the going around the top part of her head or the front of her head. And yes, this is the crochet cap that I'm going to be using. This crochet cap is very sturdy. It's durable. You don't have to worry about it ripping, tearing, or anything. I love this crochet net, this crochet cap. If you are interested in purchasing it, tap the link in the description below. It will take you to our website where you can purchase this crochet cap. This crochet cap is absolutely lovely. I love using it. Again, it's very durable. It does come with uh, four combs, two on each side, one in the front and one in the back. Because she's gonna be getting these crochet locks, I am going to take these combs out because I don't want them to be stuck in her head or to cause any kind of discomfort. We definitely want to make sure that the cap is fitting comfortably on our client's hair. That is definitely most important. Now I'm going to apply this cap but I'm not going to put it over the entire part of her head. I'm only going to put it on I guess I would say 85% of her hair because I'm going to leave the very very front part of her hair out. Why? Because I'm going to do a new method to cover her alopecia in the front and I don't want to sew on I don't want to crochet 
on any part of the very front of her hair because it's really fragile it's really weak and I don't want that pressure that tension and that weight of the locks although these locks are not hair heavy at all I just don't want to put that weight so I'm going to show you a new technique and a new trick that I have been using with my clients who have really weak and fragile hair in the front so again I am putting this cap up to the point where those perimeter braids were the braids that I said was creating help create a hairline and I am sewing the cap down to those braids as well as the braids in the back that's going all the way around yes here it is these are the faux locks these are the straight dreadlock faux locks with the wavy curly tips and they are what only $5.99 a pack these are 20 inches and we are going to start off with the color 1b so look as you can see they are very easy to work with they don't tangle they don't unravel I really really love this brand it's called the Natty brand N-A-T-T-Y and they are very easy to work with because they have the pre-loop I've noticed that attaching the crochet locks with the pre-loop is super easy I really really love it and notice that I'm only crocheting the locks on the net and not her hair so take note of that this is a way to prevent the locks or the crochets no matter whether you're doing crochet locks whether you're doing oho braids um the passion twist you can crochet them right on this cap and not on the client's hair which again reduces a lot of the tension the stress and the pulling on their natural hair so again as you can see i am only attaching on the crochet cap not on her natural hair and then I'm going to show you the new method and new trick that I've been doing for the front so continue to keep watching and I will be back to show you and explain to you more in detail how I do this front and why I do the front like this again if you're interested in purchasing this cap go to our website the cap is on there it's very affordable it's reusable it's very durable it's stretchy and most of all the holes are big enough to give your natural hair air yes your hair needs to breathe while we have these protective styles up this is two packs right here and oh gosh here we are we are at the front and this is why I'm gonna be leaving the front out because I'm gonna do some individual single braids and that's how I'm gonna attach the crochets to the front for me I think that this will be a little more lighter for her hair and she won't have to worry about this cap sliding slipping or shifting because it is sewn to the perimeter braids that's around the forehead and around the back nape of her neck these are going to be singles and then I'm going to crochet the singles on there as well as another new tip that I'm going to show you oh my gosh look at this new tip I am going to sew these crochets on this is going to give her a much fuller look in the front where she has a severe hair loss because there's no hair there and I don't want to put too many locks on those individuals because again I want that to be as light as possible but I also want it to look as natural as possible so oh my gosh look at this new method I am actually just sewing these crochets on to the the band of that crochet cap that band is nice and thick so it can hold a lot of weight it can hold the crochets really well and this is giving her a nice full look in the front you are never going to know that she has any hair loss in the front so oh my gosh this is a game changer if you haven't tried sewing these crochets on especially with your clients with hair loss this is something that you really have to try so I'm gonna slow it down and I'm gonna show you in slow motion again how I do these crochets and how I sew them in instead of crocheting them in 
again this is lighter it gives more fullness in the front and it's just such a better benefit so again continue to keep watching and please watch to the end please subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and please tap that bell so you do not miss any of my videos as i do new videos every single week and i bring you the best content that i have every single time giving you 110 percent so again continue to keep watching this new method that i've come up with and let me know what you think about it leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about my work um and stay safe stay blessed and again continue to keep watching tease grays and weaves west coast fun But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to before the new Rewind, take it out of cue Innocence can be a young man's game Signed up for the hall of shame I wish I knew locks are the bomb but look how full it is look how beautiful these two colors blend in together you absolutely cannot tell that she has any hair loss in the front at the top at all these crochets look nice and natural and that's what we want ladies we want these styles to look as natural as possible i really hope you enjoyed this video you can't tell again that she has any alopecia that was my ultimate goal she is feeling so good confident in her self-esteem is lifted and that is what i love peace and blessings again please subscribe introducing our new hair growth oil yes gng &G has done it again this is our what 100 percent all natural hair growth oil yes it is packed with organic hair growth ingredients to do what? Promote hair growth. Yes, our prices are very affordable, only $15. So yes, tap the link below to order on our website. Yes, get your order in today. g, &G Hair Growth Oil.